My name is Rutuja and uh, I, I might say that I'm not completely vegan but I try to practice uh, it as much as possible uh, or whatever option whenever I have an option I always choose to be uh, choose a vegan plant option. based yeah so that is the thing and uh, again I understand that uh, a lot of people don't choose it like mm -hmm. yourself you gave a lecture here and you uh, realized how much uh, opposition you got from the class of course, yes, yes. yeah you got it so uh, what happens at the so how i deal with it so whenever i, I get this uh, difference of op opinion with any of my friend or any of my uh, colleague or someone so i usually ignore it because uh, initially i used to talk them through i used to uh, have a conversation have a debate or something but then i realized then it's everybody's choice you can't uh, after a point you can't just uh, uh, put your point through see i agree with you it is definitely everyone's choice all i want to remind them that it is a violent choice that's all i'm yeah, trying to yeah. do all i'm doing is putting a mirror i'm just saying that hey you be, keep being whoever you want but as long as you're eating this i will come every day and put a mirror in front of your face that's all i'm not doing anything else i'm not forcing you or shouting or yelling or doing anything like that but my point is this i was a vegan around i turned around eight years ago when i also saw like a video like this online and i heard a lecture in fact what i'm doing here right now is nothing original the person who convinced me to go vegan he gave a similar lecture like this in the US and that was uploaded on YouTube. I saw that and that's what told me, hey, you know what, Aravind, you are a vegan right now, but the violence is still happening. Why don't you go out and speak on behalf of the animals? Okay. And it's okay right now if people listen to this and think like, you know what, veganism is nonsense. Because what has happened right now is that a seed has been planted in every mind. They now know there's a concept known as veganism. They now understand what speciesism means. It might, now, we never know, like five years down the line, if people decide to change that. So let's put out the awareness to people. Let's give the knowledge to people and then let them make the choice for themselves. Because these industries right now, meat, dairy and egg, they are lying to all of you. Because they actually put a picture of a happy cow in front of paneer or ice cream. There is no happy cow on any dairy farm. I can assure you that right now. So seeing such things and seeing so much cruelty happening every day, I am unable to keep my mouth shut. And just to let you know, I myself have managed to convince the world over, well, this is only based upon the feedback I've gotten through emails, uh, messages on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and all this stuff, comments. I would say around 5,000 people the world over have gotten back to me saying that, hey, Arvind, after hearing your speech or after watching your videos, I've gone vegan. Now, you might say 5,000 is nothing, and I agree. But let's say before I die, I manage to change 1 lakh people. And that 1 lakh people will then take it forward the next generation. Just like how they didn't abolish slavery in North America. In just, I asked, you know, why did it take 300 years? This might take 300 or 500 years. I don't know. But I'm going to be part of the side of justice right now. And even though if, if the majority of society is against me, I am still going to keep speaking up for the animals every single day of my life in hopes that planting these seeds, one day a forest will grow. I can only be hopeful because, look, here's the thing. If I try to make the world vegan, there are two chances. One, the world will never become vegan or it may become vegan. But if I keep quiet and sit down, it'll never change. So at least I'm trying. That's all yeah. I'm doing right now. So uh, I need. I want to ask one more question. Sure. So uh, whenever I I have this conversation, I get a lot of hatred. Like even you would have experienced that. I wouldn't say this is hatred. hatred. This is just their questions. Yeah, They're it's just that. Like, uh, they're very uh, opposite Defensive. to the people yeah, are different. Yes, there's, yes, yes, yes. there's a difference in it, and uh, you deal with it a lot. So how do you deal with it? That's what I wanted to ask. Well, I am human like everybody else. Um, so honestly speaking, the moment I saw all these videos of what's happening to animals and stuff, I'm a very sensitive person. I am a guy who actually cries and stuff. So I broke down. I had like a mental breakdown. I cried. Probably couldn't eat for a few days. I was wondering why is the world like this. I thought. Maybe the world is like this because people just don't know. And so I thought if I just show the world what's happening, everyone will change, it will all stop. Sad reality for me that never happened. But the point is that I have now felt so much pain from human apathy, I've just gotten numb to it. Right now, I'm just a robot. I'm a broken record standing here speaking on behalf of the animals. And I'm just going to keep beating my drums because, like I said, there's a class of 70 here. Maybe no one changes. Let's just say that. But did you know that in a lecture I did just a couple of days ago in Chennai, both the teacher and one student told that I promise I'll become vegan here on 4th. Just two days ago, I received around three messages on Facebook saying that, hey, bro, I saw your videos, I'll go vegan. So people are changing. So let's look at the bright side. Let's worry about the rest later. Let's first raise awareness, give this awareness to everyone in India. Are we, am I supposed to believe that in India there are not one lakh people like me? We have a country of one billion population or more. So are we supposed to believe that there aren't one lakh people who will hear the message, see the cruelty and think maybe I should make a change? Let's first change them. Let's worry about the rest later. So I'm going to just keep focusing on my task right now and just work, work, work. That's it. That's how I function. Okay, fine.
Balance, Thank you. Balance.